Pat Harper Jones, and I'm a communications journalism major at Canisius College. Can you define photography, please? Um, my definition of photography is pretty textbook. It's uh, the art of creating an image using um, some form of like film or digital media. Specifically with journalism, a journalist's job is to relay information to the public, usually through the medium of words. But now in the digital age, that's extending itself onto it was photography and now video, and it's progressing now into social media. So. Words are a restricting weapon for a journalist because not everyone is impacted by like the written word in the same way Like there can be a language barrier or like among other things like some people just aren't moved by literature or Moved by like a good piece of writing like some are therefore the message might not hit them as hard with a good photo It can hit a mass of people all in the same way if it's like a really powerful image You don't need to master the written word you just need to capture that given moment and Especially in the, digi the, the digital age with the, um, the way social media kind of works itself out and so many people can see the same thing and get different perspectives and give their opinions. I think it really fosters photography now more than ever, even though like the classic camera, like it's all turning into iPhone photography that's really helping photography thrive in the digital age. My name is Christina Myers. Um, this is my documentary on photography and what people think about it. I am 19 years old. I'm currently an animal behavior major at Canisius College in Buffalo, New York. I originally um, wanted to go to school for photography, but my life took me into a different path and I'm pre pretty happy with that, but obviously it's still a really big part of my life, so I'm incorporating it every way I can. So, to me, photography is obviously really important. <laughs> okay, so to me, photography is obviously it's a big art form, but it's also really important to society because it affects how everybody sees everything. It's how we communicate with each other. Photography captures the beauty in everything, and everything in the world is beautiful, not just the stuff that people generally find aesthetically appealing, but like literally everything can be captured and made beautiful. So I think that's my favorite thing. <laughs> well, as a whole, I obviously believe that photography is definitely a positive thing. I can completely understand why people view it as a negative thing, especially on social media, because we have all these issues with it. We have copyright problems. People are sharing it without proper attributions. We have problems with body image where a lot of the photography being shared is through advertisements and modeling agencies that use Photoshop and completely distort the image. I think that it should either be used as an art to throw out beauty into the world and make it like a better place, or it should be used for news and sharing information and just making things more understood because especially like with world news, we can't see stuff that's that far away, so I think that photography often makes it more of a real thing to us instead of just being like this abstract idea of
freezing. <laughs> I'm from California, um, in a valley in a city called Bakersfield. Um, I'm a history and pre-law major. Um, Photography is probably capturing the moment moments in whatever different aspects of life, nature. Hello, my name is Abby Hines. Um, I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. I got my first camera when I was in third grade, like my digital camera. It was a Fuji film or something. It was like a big brick, and now it's progressed. So, um, I don't know. I like photography because of the perspective you can get on life. And when I was little, I guess I connected with that. To me, photography is capturing a moment in time. It's like a time capsule, sort of, in a way. And you can change it to how you want to view the world. You can use perspective to use something in the light, or you can use it in the dark. And as photographers, you have that freedom. What do you think photography's impact on society is? It's really like, again with this perspective, like if you take a picture of something bad, then people only see the bad stuff. And if you take a picture of something good, then people are like, oh, everything's good. But then next to that good scene is poverty or a war or pollution. It's just a matter of what you take the picture of and what society views that picture as. My name is Lydia Beinhauer. I'm a psychology major. I'm 18. Um, I'm from Buffalo, New York. And um, I grew up a lot around art and music mostly, but art too. I think that photography defies the laws of entropy because um, the world is ever changing and everything comes to an end. But with photography, you can capture moments and make them so that they never end and stretch them on for eternity through our pictures and our art. I think photography has impacted society in both a negative and a positive way because uh, it encourages the use of what's called the preformed symbolic complex, which gives you a hopes of what you're going to see if you go to see something. For example, the Grand Canyon, you have an idea of what you're going to see. So it sort of makes the experience less special. But at the same time, you can go to places all over the world and take pictures of that and bring it home to your family and show everyone so that in a way they can go and visit those places too. And it gives people a chance to see things that they may never be able to see. because it's more easy for people to use, like more people can get into it, more people can um, access it and utilize it in a sense that not everybody can have with like developing the film and having the right cameras and certain things. I think it's definitely positive for digital part, but film, it's like classic, I guess. It has a certain quality of, like, purity to it, I guess. Like, you can't edit a film, you can edit a digital photo. Again, that all the pictures of my dog are on my phone, and I don't have any of them developed. What if my phone crashes and the, everything dies, and my dog dies, and I have no pictures of him, except for the ones in my head? That'll kind of suck. So, 
I think we should go back in time to whenever there's that guy holding a video camera going like this. <laughs> I think that would be a lot better. I don't like the progression. You don't like it? Uh, I don't like it. Okay. It's destroying it. I think overall it's positive. Uh, it adds a lot more features and a lot more availability and ease of use. But I don't think film photography will go away. Some people just love to actually do it. And it does provide some kind of difference to the images. It's something digital, all digital cameras would not be able to capture. I see you alone, we stay in together